Face ID is a great feature on the iPhone, and as a consumer, I've grown accustomed to it. So much so that, like most of you, I expect the same level of functionality out of my enterprise tools. Windows Hello for Business is one such feature. In our previous video, we covered conditional access and Okta. Now, let's take that a bit deeper and look at how you can use Okta to roll out Windows Hello for Business. Once again, I'm joined by Vijay Pichamani from our product management team, here to help you understand everything you need to know about Windows Hello for Business. Vijay, thanks for joining us. Hey James, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here and really excited to talk about Windows Hello for Business. Well, you know, let's get right into it. I know there's two flavors of Windows Hello. Can you tell me for this audience, what is special and unique about Windows Hello for Business? Sure. So as you know, individuals can now create a pin or biometric gesture on their personal devices for convenient sign-in, right? This use of Windows Hello is unique to the Windows device on which it is set up, but you can also use a simple password hash behind the scenes, depending on you know what is the individual account type. This configuration is sometimes called Windows Hello convenience pin, but it is not really backed by asymmetric or certificate-based or there's no public private key backing behind this. However, with Windows Hello for Business, this is configured by group policy or an MDM policy, and it always uses a key-based or a certificate-based authentication behind the scenes. This makes Windows Hello for Business much more secure than just a Windows Hello convenience pin. Great, so I think you touched on a great point there. Windows Hello for Business is designed for the enterprise, right? Because it's more secure. So here's an, an, uh, an enterprise level question for you. Can you use it with Okta as the IDP? Yes, for an organization, if you're using Okta as the IDP for your Office 365 integration today, you can use Windows Hello for Business along with Okta as your IDP. Great, so I think that, that's pretty awesome that the, the two work together. So how do I do it? How would I enroll in Windows Hello for Business? Sure, so there are two ways you can enroll into Windows Hello for Business today. One is the out of the box experience when you set up a brand new Windows machine. The second way is when you can go through the settings on your Windows machine and you can manually start enrolling into Windows Hello for, uh, Hello for Business. Either way, when you sign in, either from out of the box or when you go into settings, there is an identity verification step where the employee is required to sign in uh, to verify their credentials. As part of this identity verification process, there is a mandatory step of auth that the identity needs, the employee needs to complete. After this verification process is when they can actually go ahead and create their Windows Hello for Business pin. That sounds simple enough, but where does Okta come into play? Meaning how can Okta help with a Windows, Windows Hello for Business deployment? Sure, that's a great question. As I said, in the previous step, Windows asks you to verify your identity and complete a step up auth in the process of setting up a Windows Hello for Business spin. When you do this, if you are using Okta as the identity provider, we have an integration today that makes it seamless and enables you to verify your identity and complete your step up auth via the Okta sign-in widget in the process of setting up Windows Hello for Business. So Vijay, does this mean I have to complete the Okta MFA as well as the Microsoft MFA? Like, do I need both of those factors to do this? No, this is the beauty of the integration. With our pass claim for MFA feature, once you complete uh, verifying your identity with Okta and complete your Okta MFA, Okta will be able to send an MFA claim to Microsoft. This makes it super seamless for end users because now they do not have to have multiple MFA apps or register into multiple MFA solutions. And also for admins, because this makes it super seamless that they don't have to manage multiple MFA solutions in their organizations. Everything can be done with just Okta as your MFA provider in this, in this process. That's great. So uh, I wanna thank you for your insights on you know, everything Windows Hello for Business and what we do in the product offering. Now let's go ahead and draw it out and see what it looks like. We have two entities, Okta, and Windows 10. Okta has an MFA policy, and by default, Windows 10 has a policy that requires a second factor for setting up Windows Hello for Business. A user starts this process either out of the box or from the settings page. When they kick this off, Microsoft makes a request for authentication, and since the domain is federated with Okta, the request is sent to Okta. The Okta sign-in policy forces the user to sign in with MFA. Then, once successful, sends a response back to Microsoft with a set of claims that tells Microsoft the MFA requirement has been met. Windows 10 then moves forward with a prompt to create a PIN. 
Easy enough, but let's see it in action. Here we have the out-of-the-box experience for a new Windows 10 machine. And here's our prompt for the Windows Hello for Business pin. Let's hit Setup Pin. Since we're using an enterprise account on a federated domain, we are immediately redirected to Okta. We'll enter our credentials and verify via Okta Verify. And now we're presented with the Setup Pin screen. Enter our pin and we're all set. Windows Hello for Business is included with any O365 and M365 licensing bundle and works right out of the box with Okta SSO. Thanks for watching.